Hi everyone, we are very glad to know we have achieved the top level results in this competition. We are a small team from Sensor Research Center Beijing. This is the first time we participate in the Habitat Challenge. We're here to share our solution called Memoryless Wonder. Our solution focuses on the object navigation problem. According to the formal description, we need to find an instance of the given category object and the call stop in the range of 0.1 meter. We formula this task as a simple procedure, including three main parts, exploration, map building, and recognition. Our workflow are shown like this. In each episode, our agent will start with exploring, exploring surrounding scenario and constantly build map based on depth. As the agent found the target, it will put the target location on the map and try to reach it and finally call a stop. For exploration of the scenario, we generate lots of the goal points based on unknown area and make our agent try to reach this unknown area goals. Thus, the agent will explore the whole scenario map, which is very helpful for the task. The reason behind that is because we believe that the agent might be found the target during exploration. We also notice that the agent actually can be very easily to stuck in a narrow space. So we make two strategies to handle this problem. First, we use inflation strategy to make obstacle bigger. Therefore, the robot can, can be nearest of the wall. Second, we design a turning strategy based on map. It is very simple also. If the target is blockaded by the wall in the left, it simply turns the right. The next part of our job is to build maps. We collect depth information and convert it to the pointed cloud. And we use the point cloud to make the map. Because we notice that the depth information does not contain any noises. The most important part of our job is the instant recognition. We use the central mask method, which is published in CVPR 2020. To make sure this method works, we collect data from different different distance and angle, and we also make the training data labor more balanced. Here are our results. As we can see that many of the objects can be recognized very well. However, we still fail to identify some of the object by confusing them with something similar. For example, we accidentally recognize the refrigerator as a cabinet. Next is our running cases, our agent to find a chair. As we can see that, our agent can walk through a very complex region and recognize the chair and go to the chair, calling stop and we win. In the end, we do realize that we can do planning of the job to significantly improve our currently performance, and we are doing it. First, we are trying to reuse the map across the episode, which will improve the SPL. Second, we notice the statistical position association between the different objects might be helpful for our task. For example, if we want to find our tower, maybe we can find a cabinet at first. Third, we try to use the, the 3D map instead of the 2D maps for the navigation consideration. Fourth, we try to add a depth estimation to handle the close range problem. That's all. Thank you for your attention.